the bottom line is that, uh, they're not. Uh, they're actually protections. Um, just like today, we're doing protections on uh, families, children, victims of domestic violence. Uh, we signed those last week uh, that make improvements to the state law as well. But what about abortion? Uh, again, it was a simple requirement that uh, ultimately has a doctor, has to talk to the person in private, be away from somebody that might ultimately be intimidating someone. Uh, that's ultimately a very uh, pro-patient piece of And did you do this in secret on, on Good Friday? No. And we signed these at the state uh, capitol uh, on Thursday. Uh, we signed other pieces on Friday, as I did uh, about 25 other pieces of legislation that deal with topics all over the spectrum. So why is everybody saying that? Because uh, there's a political agenda out there. <laughs> now, it's pretty simple. Uh, I, I sign bills all the time. Uh, some I sign in public, sign, some I sign in mass and other places. And we pick out highlight ones of high interest like the bills today. Um, and in other cases, people uh, didn't race think about any other bills we signed in the Capitol in the last two weeks. So it's a political agenda. Governor, do you support the state Republican Party's decision to run fake candidates and Democratic recall primary? Uh, I've not been involved in that, but I think everybody in the state wants the election the same day, June 5th, and that's ultimately going to happen. I think that's a good thing. I think most people don't want separate final elections. They want them all to be on June 5th uh, for the governor, for the lieutenant governor, and for the state senate candidates, and that's ultimately what happened. So however it got to be at that point, it's not something I've been involved with, in, but the bottom line is going to be the same day. But the fake candidates, is that something that you support? Again, what I support is the election being the same day. Is Gladys Huber a Democrat? I don't know. Uh, again, I, to me, the bottom line is the voters in the state, I think overwhelmingly, the voters would like us not to have a recall. Uh, the reality is we have one because of the way the law is a fraction of the people in the state can force one. Uh, but in the end, they don't want to accept the date. It's already costing the taxpayer of the state over $9 million to run these recall elections. I think after these elections are done, most people will be ready to move on and uh, and find a way to change the law, whether it deals with a Democrat or Republican or white. Well, I think it's very nice. And I think the reality is... Uh, if the people pushing the recalls prevail on June 5th, you're going to see this nonstop. I mean, that's one thing people have to factor, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, uh, if uh, there's a, whether it's against me, the lieutenant governor, or any of the four senators, I think you will see a, a, a nonstop year-round election cycle in Wisconsin uh, if these recalls uh, ultimately win. And so I think there's going to be a fair number of people, not just Republicans and independents, but I think there's probably going to be some discerning Democrats between now and June 5th will think about that and realize they don't want year-round elections. They don't want $60 to $80 million spent all the time here in the state of Wisconsin. I talked to most people uh, after the last elections, and they told me, I remember last year at the state fair after the state senate recall elections, what they said was they were sick of all the ads. They were sick of all the attacks. It didn't matter whether they were Republican or Democrat. They were sick of it. In the end, the best way to keep that from happening again after June 5th it is for us to ultimately keep in office the people who were elected in office in November of 2010, allow us to fulfill our term, and then if people like or dislike what we're doing, then have a vote in November 2014. Sorry, folks, we, we got a funeral to go to. One quick one. In well, yeah, we've got to, I mean, ultimately, we wouldn't have to run a single one if people weren't involved in recalls. Um, if there wasn't the out-of-state special interest money from the big government unions pushing the recall process here, we wouldn't have to spend, raise or spend a penny. But the reality is we've got to get the truth out. The more we've gotten the truth out, our numbers have gone up. When people see the facts, when they see the fact that unlike other states across the country, we were able to balance a budget without raising taxes, without the massive layoffs we've seen in other states, and do so in the way that allowed us to see our unemployment drop below 7% for the first time since 2008. I think people believe we're heading in the right direction. So, great. Thanks.